God's going to have a flame coming out of your butthole. You're going to have a flame coming out of your butthole. If you thought that AIDS was bad, you ain't seen nothing yet. How the fuck are ya, you beautiful, puffy little nipples? Galactic criminal here. Today we've got ourselves some independent metalcore out of New England. Saving Vice. These motherfuckers happened upon my plate via disgrace book on a post I made last week that which was followed in the comments by just a sh sh machine gun firing of motherfuckers telling me to check out this band and linking this video specifically. My notifications coming in like bing, 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 bing. I said, like, oh, holy fuck. Okay, 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 I see you. So I went ahead and looked them up on Disgrace, but not too much to say here. They've been together for a few years. Someone said, uh, what they bring to the scene is refreshing and nostalgic, reminiscent of 2009 metalcore balanced with modern trends. They're emotional and melodic, but also unapologetically brutal. But what gets me is it says under affiliations, it's endorsed by Born Dead Clothing. Born Dead Clothing. So is that like t-shirts? Aborted babies on it? If so, I'll take two. <laughs> I think that's about enough dilly dally, Bill and Sally. What do you say we get into this shit? Saving Vice, the Black Briar for the one, two. <laughs>
full fade out too. <laughs> that wasn't bad at all, man. That wa that wasn't bad at all, but I mean, how you gonna let Wednesday Adams wipe shit on your face like that? It's bear shit. In the woods. <laughs> out of a complete and total honesty, I mean seeing some of their influences here in their disgrace book saying that uh the architects in there bring me the horizon, asking Alexander fit for king, wage war, bands of the like. I wasn't entirely sure what to expect, to be honest. For me personally, this could have gone one of two ways. This could have gone a very, very worse way than it did. <laughs> and, it, and it went the direction that I was certainly hoping it was going to go in and saying it was like emotional and melodic, but also like heavy and brutal scene architects in there. I definitely felt these influences within elements of the track, the horizons being a little bit of like the, the clean, this, this cool like build-up play he was doing, it was like to the scream, which I thought was really, really cool. Having like a bit of the architect style scream in the main side, in the main vocalist, secondary vocalist, very cool as well. I liked the blend of both of them, but there was this just, dude, there was this like just mean style growl grunt vocal that happened a couple of times as a highlight in this, which I thought was fine as as they as it was, but I'm wondering where is that? Where is that just mean, disgusting guttural? I mean, you have a solid mid to kind of low on the one guy. The other guys had like sick fucking the, the, the speed, the taka taka, the ha 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 goblin type thing going on, which I thought was badass. But yeah, where is that that roof that roof that I was hearing? I wanted to hear some more of that. We didn't, and that's fine. I just think it would have been nice to have that somewhere in there. But dude, like. All kinds of really cool elements in this. Cool, like, breakdown moments, too. There was the fucking dirty, dirty, dirty fucking breakdown towards the end of here, man. I thought it was fantastic. And I think even, like, the build-up to that breakdown was even more fantastic. But I, which, I, which I really appreciate the most in this was, like, the, the, the melodic slowdown thing in this. What do you even fucking call it? I don't know what it's called when they do it, but I, I really liked the way that they did that in this and were able to implement the cleans without making as much of a clean, pardon the pun, break as, as some bands might. Because like, if you had it gone from just like heavy, 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 stop and gone straight into that clean, I probably wouldn't have liked it as much. Because he didn't give me a chance to kind of wind down and get settled in to the vibe that, uh, that the, the clean was going to like to kind of put forward there, which they did here. They fucking they broke it down, slowed it down, let you cool down for a moment, have a nice melodic sounding rev, some cool visuals to go along with that before breaking into the fucking the clean and then coming out of it. I was like, how are they going to do that? Is it going to be? Is it going to be nice and like transitional, or is it just going to be abrupt back to the fucking the taka taka or whatever? And it was a nice gradient. It was a nice gradient to get back into the fucking the heavy stuff, but also while mixing the clean back in with it throughout the rest of the track. I thought the ending was great. I liked the melodic ending to this thing. Would I have liked to hear some more taka taka toward the end? <laughs> yeah, I guess that could have been real. That could have been nice to hear uh, the secondary vocalist do his fucking scream part again and do the fast moment again, but it doesn't have to be there. I like the song exactly the way it is. I don't, I don't necessarily like, tend to lean towards this style these days, so it does. It is kind of like hit or miss for me, like very much more so than it is when it comes to like heavier deathcore stuff, the stuff that I'm very much more into at this moment. Uh, but getting into stuff like this, I mean, if you're doing it right, I'll enjoy it, and I very much, I very much enjoyed this. I think I'm gonna look into a bit more of these guys. They have a bunch of other videos. It looks like they have here on the, on the YouTube. I'm gonna go through a bit of a rabbit hole listening to some of that shit, but hey, what did you motherfuckers think of these guys to agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, I'll be a link in the description for this video, so you better watch it for yourself, full screen for audio, and get the full experience. And as always, have yourself a fantastic evening.